Okay, I'm going to be using Lightroom 3 for this. This is the main program I use to edit all of my images. I use this mainly due to the libraries, which you can see on the left hand side. The batch conversion, as well as to just generally develop my images. If you shoot JPEGs, this tutorial isn't going to help much. However, I am working on another one that should be able to help just a little bit. I'll be mainly using RAW files. Um, I press P to flag the photo. This is just so I know which photos I want to develop further. Going to the develop option located on the top right hand corner, I play around with the white balance, just moving the sliders left and right just to see if the image is worth saving, if there's detail under all the red light. The main problem with the red light is there's an excess of it and there's a lack of green and blue. Um, play around with the green tint a bit. I'm going to be using the camera calibration option. Um, while I play around with the sliders I'll talk about it a bit. This is just another useful tool which I don't use for anything other than gig photography where I have to deal with absolutely insane lighting all the time. Basically all cameras have different responses to colours because all the sensors are different. Camera calibration was developed so you can take your camera's response to the light, well to the colours, to the next level rather than just simply changing the white balance or saturation. The first option is shadows. This affects the tint of the dark tones either towards green or magenta. The primary colour hue is where you can fine tune the hue of each of the primary colours which is red, green and blue. These are what just clear up the colours that won't capture right in camera. All you do with these is adjust the range by pulling the slider along. The hue for the red alters from a magenta red to a yellowish red. The greens go from a yellow green to a blue green. And the blues go from a blue green to a magenta. As you adjust the hue of one colour it may affect another colour so keep them in mind when you're using it. I usually play around with these until the colours look as natural as I can get them. Um, I could play around with these settings for absolutely hours just fine tuning it. But this is just to give you an idea of the options you have when it comes to sorting out red light. Usually for red light images I will just tone down the red a bit but keeping it red and just try to drag the detail back in which I will show in another tutorial which will probably be with the JPEG one. Um, but some people wanted to know how to get rid of the red completely. Here I'm just adding a bit more warmth back into the image. It was a bit green. Need It does need a bit more blue or colder tones because it is really really warm but when you see where it's come from to what it is now it's a huge difference but like I say playing around with these settings to get the effect that you want um, I could literally do this for hours hours and hours <laughs> um, just going to show you the before there's actually an option where you can have them side by side but I'm just going to show you that was before this is after. Still a bit too greeny yellowy, but the image serves its purpose. Um, with a bit more tweaking, it can be saved, <laughs> which is great. So that's it. It's as simple as that. It just depends on what you want from it. 